Okay, I'm, I separated the problems out. We're doing number 11, but we need the number from number 10, or the work. Okay, so I don't need my answer from number 10 to do number 11. Number 10 asks for kinetic energy, and I could say, all right, well, I have kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. I know my kinetic energy. I know my mass and call for V. You could do it that way if you want. I like doing all the steps and make sure I, I can just do the concept together. So I'm going to go one more time through. Let's say you don't do 10, you just do 11. So again, we say, all right, what's to the top? What's to the bottom? We know that the energy, total energy at the top is equal to the total energy at the bottom. At the top, I have potential only because it says um, it starts from rest. So I have MGH, or I have only potential, and I have at the bottom only kinetic. So now I put my formulas underneath MGH is equal to one-half mv squared. All right. What if I wasn't given mass? That'll happen often. That's fine. I don't need mass because they're going to cancel out here. See? There's a mass in both spots. They cancel out anyways. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So I have 2gh is equal to v, one, uh, v squared. Okay. Now I square root. Both sides, and my velocity will be equal to the square root of 2gh. Again, people, please, please, please understand, you don't want to write this in your formula sheet and think that's how to do energy problems. It might get you the answer, but often it will not. On your or on a supplement question, and you just, if you just try putting in that formula, one, it might get you the wrong answer, and two, you won't show me that you understand what type of energies you have at, at each spot. 